Howdy everyone, this is Trisha, and today I'm going to be making a tiered floral arrangement. My idea was to use some terracotta pots and stack them up on top of each other to create this arrangement, but I decided to give myself the challenge and go into the Dollar Tree instead and find some pots, whether they're plastic or ceramic, or see what I can find, or maybe some boxes or bowls or some type of dishes or something maybe that I can actually create the the pots with so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree and get some flowers as well to decorate my arrangement and then I will be back to show you what I've gotten all right everyone so I'm home now for my shopping we went everywhere but first we stopped at the Dollar Tree and I did go in and find some items uh, to do my tiered floral arrangement I spent about $13 on just this little craft that I'm gonna do for you uh, and let me show you what the supplies are gonna be I am using some glass items. I looked at everything, I considered everything, I looked at the uh, plastic pots that they had and I thought, oh, this would be great, but I thought, you know what, I really wanna make something small because I was imagining something small that I would build with the terracotta pots and uh, I really wanted something small that wasn't gonna take a lot of space because I do have other stuff all over the place already in my home. So I don't need another large uh, floral arrangement. I just wanted something small and of course it's something small that you can also do this is also a great idea that you can use for a wedding or a birthday just for maybe like a little tea party you want something small maybe for someone's little office uh you know for their desk or a little office area so anyway let me tell you what i found i found this i guess it's a wine glass or i'm not really sure i i'm not not that i don't drink but i don't really know what drinks are or what they're served in but this is the glass that i found it's there they had two sizes well they had actually three i think they had a thin flute type of glass and they had a smaller one than this and then they had this larger one and i went ahead and i grabbed the large one i grabbed a also a glass candle holder a, a little stick candle stick holder and then i grabbed a little plate which is also a candle holder it's got the little little nibs here at the bottom where you know you can place it on a table and it doesn't slide around so much and then i also got this little glass bowl kind of a fish bowl uh style uh glassware so these are four items that i got they're glassware sorry about that noise okay so then i've also got some uh little bushes here from their floral and greenery area and i first i picked out some other flowers that they're really pretty i was trying to pick the smallest flowers that i could find for this particular arrangement but then i went into another section where um they had even more stems and i found these and these say greenery bouquet on them that's what the tag says greenery bouquet and i just wanted to show you what they look like they're really pretty i like the soft green tone they had this design and i grabbed two of that particular one and then they have this other one that looks like uh like some uh what is that what am I thinking? Not Heather. What is the other thing? The purple thing. Okay, lavender. <laughs> it kind of looks like lavender and I like these little extra bits that it had. I grabbed two of those as well and then I grabbed a third design. I think they had a fourth one. But then I grabbed this third one and this one has like little yellow, little berry things and then these little reddish type of berries on the bush and more of that. So I grabbed two of those as well. So I thought I'd do a little, a little three-tiered uh, uh, arrangement with these three different flowers and also from the Dollar Tree I got myself some styrofoam I got this disc and it's a package of two so I'm only going to use one and I got a package of these four floral foams as well they're little little not cubes little rectangular pieces and then I got this one long piece and of course I'm not going to use all of this and I'm not going to use this and of course I'm only going to use one of this so you know you can take that into consideration that um Maybe I spent 11 bucks instead of, instead of 13 for this arrangement. Something that I did have at home, so I didn't grab at the Dollar Tree, which I needed, but I didn't grab it because I remembered that I had this other product. And what I needed was some moss, and they do have a green reindeer moss or the green, just a green mossy moss. Uh, but you could also use like a Spanish moss. Uh, but I have this item, oh, it's getting tangled up. I got this item at a store called At Home, and it is called Sizzle. I look at what it looks like. And this comes in three colors in the package. Uh, if you don't find anything like this, uh, it's fine. Just use some regular uh, moss, some green moss or uh, Spanish moss. This is just what I'm using. Okay, it's what I found, but I don't expect everybody's going to find the same item. So just something to cover your styrofoam with. 
and because these are see-through and I don't want to see the styrofoam in there and I really don't want to have to cover the whole the whole styrofoam on the sides with this because it would really be pretty to see this arrangement in, in a crystal look but I decided that I want to spray paint it um, and uh, I didn't stop anywhere to get a spray paint I really wanted like a white or an off-white I really wanted more of an off-white creamy color for this to to paint all of this with but uh, I didn't stop but then I remembered uh, when I got home that I do have this silver metallic paint so I'm going to be using this paint to spray with and I'm hoping that I have plenty of it in there and I actually want to go get some more and I got this I believe at Home Depot and if it wasn't at Home Depot I got it at Lowe's but that's where I got this paint from okay let me see what else am I going to use these are all my supplies that I need to use for my arrangement for my tools I'm going to need a hot glue gun and I've got glue sticks for that I got my wire cutters uh, scissors and I'm using my craft knife to cut into my uh, styrofoam and of course I'm going to put down a piece of paper because when I cut into my styrofoam all the little bits are going to get everywhere so that's what uh, I'm going to put down uh, another item that I could definitely use is an E6000 glue you can find that like at Michael's Walmart or Hobby Lobby uh, for me I like to get it at Hobby Lobby or you could use the uh, Dollar Tree uh, they have like a super glue the glue all I believe is what it is but I think it's a super glue brand uh, it's only one dollar for the little tube and that's awesome uh, I don't use it and I wouldn't recommend it if you are very sensitive to scents so I'm letting you know right now it's it's got a very strong scent even though the E6000 does have a strong scent it's not as strong as that particular glue I don't know if that has anything to do with the quality or the brand or what but I'll just let you know that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put all these together these glass items with just my glue gun but I would suggest that you use E6000 the reason that I'm just using with my glue gun is because this is a craft that I'm showing you and I'm probably going to end up taking it apart at some later date and reusing some of these items for maybe another look. Uh, so that's why I'm only using my glue gun. But if you want this to be stable and to stay and not fall apart, use some E6000. Okay, let's get to putting this all together. I really wanted to remove all these little labels first, but I'm thinking they're all going to get hidden away. So I'm not even going to bother. The only one that I need to cut off is this. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my bushes as well. I'm going to cut all the labels from them, remove all the labels. And then to prepare, because I like to prepare my supplies, I'm going to go ahead and cut every one of these, each stem off the uh, little bush and cut them at their longest point because I'm probably going to cut them a lot shorter. But for now, we'll leave them at the longest point and then we can have these little bits that we can go ahead and get rid of open up your styrofoam get rid of your plastic and all your trash so you can work nice and clean so i'll be back so i can move this camera and you can see what i'm doing all right so i've got my items here ready to put together i've cut my my little bushes here separated the little stems and i've got them piled up in three because i've got two the same two the same two the same all right, and I decided that I'm going to make an executive decision and I don't need to use a, this a longer piece of styrofoam. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for another project. And I'm only going to use maybe these four, at least three, I think, and the disc. Okay, so that's what I'm going to use. Let me put these out of the way over here. So the, this, I've got them in the order that I'm going to glue them. So I'm going to glue this on top of that, then this item, and then the wine glass. So let's put these over to the side I'm going to turn this over so we're looking at the bottom of the plate let me get my styrofoam over here oops I almost stabbed myself with this knife oh my goodness okay and I've gone ahead and just just kind of dusted things off a little bit and now I'm just gonna put some hot glue on here get that going And I'm going to turn this over to try and get it on this plate as centered as I can. Okay, here's the center. And I'm just looking at these little knobs. So thank goodness it's got these little knobs here, little foots, like little feet, I guess what you could call them. So I can make sure, you know, that also helps me kind of center it. Let me bring this up to the camera. You can see those little knobs right here and there's another one here and then one right here so these kind of help me I can use my finger here to kind of tell you know where I can feel on here on the bottom of my finger the tip here so that I know that it's more or less almost pretty much the same it's a little bit far over to this side but that's okay but this is as centered as I'm going to get it 
it's now uh, the glue has now dried so this is now staying on there I'm not gonna try and pry it open so I'm gonna leave it like that okay now I'm gonna put some styrofoam on here and I'm gonna put this little bowl on top because I want this styrofoam here so that I can insert some flowers but I don't need it to be quite this big around so I am gonna trim some of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm gonna use my craft knife I'm gonna try and center this little glass let's go ahead and bring it down off of here so I can see a little bit better and you can do the same thing so that you can see a little bit better and also you won't tip anything over and then uh, break it so we're just gonna look at this more or less from the top here kind of see and then I'm just gonna make a little cut right here I'm gonna try not to go into my table of course and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it about that's about a half inch uh, from the bottom of the uh, of a little bowl so I'm just gonna go ahead and just start marking around with my knife just more or less just eyeball it if you want if not go ahead and use a measuring tape use a little compass or whatever you need to do to make this as round as you can or don't even bother trimming it how's that and don't worry about it being perfectly round because it's going to get covered with these stems so we're not really going to see the styrofoam okay so i'm just going to cut cut in there you go start cutting that off and I'm using, and I've got this little craft knife. It's not a craft knife, it's actually like a little kitchen knife, but I use it for my craft, so I call it a craft knife. Uh, I got this from uh, the Dollar Tree as well, some time ago, I've had it for quite a while, and I only use it for this particular use here, of cutting into styrofoam, so it, it's lasted me a good, good long while. Okay, it's already what time in the afternoon? It's 6.30 p.m., everyone. We started off at 1 p.m., but we went everywhere, my husband and I. He loves going into Hobby Lobby. He probably not like that I'm telling you this, but he loves going into Hobby Lobby, and he always has to find something. But we ended up finding this huge chalkboard. I think it was originally like 80 bucks. I'm not sure, but anyway, I got it for 20 bucks, and it's huge. So I said, oh, it's worth it, and I'm going to put that in my craft room. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this. Yes, I did. I mentioned it in one of my videos before when I was doing all that bathroom stuff, all my bathroom crafts, um, that I'm gonna be moving to what used to be my younger son's bedroom because I'm in what used to be my oldest son's bedroom. And I'm gonna be moving up to that room because it's in the front of the house. And um, I think I wanna be, it, I have better lighting in the, in the room in the back because I get all that morning sunlight and I have lots of light in there. But um, we have recently fixed up that room and my craft room could use some fixing up. And instead of me just moving things out of the way, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a clean move and move my son's, uh, cause we have minimal items there now cause he's moved out, he's in the Marines and he's uh, moved out. And uh, of course my older son moved out some time ago. So that room, we clean it up and we put in a, a smaller bed in there and we just put a little desk cause he still has his computer in there, you know, ready for him to come get it whenever he wants. And you know, I kept their memories so they're all in there. Uh, but it's all condensed and smaller because they took a lot of their stuff or they got rid of some of their stuff So anyway, I have that room all fixed up and repainted and now I'm just gonna put some flooring in there So I'm gonna move my craft room in there. So as soon as all that's done, then I can do a little tour of my craft room Look what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put this glass. Can you even tell what I'm doing? Let's see Do I have anything dark? No, I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see, maybe this little box here. There's an address, no. See, I've got this wine glass and I've inserted it into the fishbowl here. So that's gonna get glued in there now, okay? Anyway, I don't know where my story was going, but uh, I'm gonna be putting that blackboard in that room as my background because I plan on putting my little title of what I'm, my little craft for the day is on that board. And it'll be behind me as I'm doing my videos. So I'm gonna be moving into that room and start fresh and clean, even though I had already done that to the other craft room, but we never repainted it. So now it needs some painting and the trimming and all that painted. And because we had our that bathroom also worked on that's that was shared by those two bedrooms, and the craft the wall in my craft room had to be cut into to work in the in the shower. Um, items so that wall has now been patched up and although I covered it with some paper um, I really want it done correctly and everything uh, 
painted and done correctly. So I'm gonna move out of that room. We're gonna take advantage of that and fix up that room and make that now my, my son's room or whichever one of them, whenever they come to visit. Okay, so there we go. There's my tiered uh, arrangement. I'm gonna take this outside and it's really pretty as is, but I'm gonna take this outside and I am going to spray paint it with a silver paint and I hope that I have enough. I really only wanna cover like the top parts here, the bottom and of course these two glass. I don't have to worry about the inside or anything. I'm not even gonna to worry too much about the, the, the flute part of the glass here because it's gonna get covered. I'm gonna get some of these little styrofoam bits and I'm gonna cut them and insert them in there and I'm gonna to have to cut them into little small pieces to get them in there because I do need some styrofoam to be able to insert flowers into. So that's what I'm gonna do once I've had it painted. So I'm gonna take this outside, spray paint it, I'm gonna be back because I'm also gonna be doing an unboxing. I got some stuff from QVC everybody and I just wanna show you. Okay, so I'll be back. All right, you guys, so I've taken my item outside and I've spray painted. I don't think I needed to show you the spray painting process. It's just sweep, 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 turn, sweep, sweep. That's what I did. <laughs> I'm letting it dry right now. It is super hot. I did say it was 6.30, it's 6.41 right now now. So it's been 10 minutes since I mentioned the time, um, which is not bad at all, 10 minutes. Um, you're probably thinking, wow, it's late in the evening. Is that even gonna dry? It is hot. It is still super sunny outside and there is actually a breeze outside. So I'm hoping that'll dry. I didn't do a very heavy covering of the glass. I just kind of looked at it and made sure that there wasn't any spots that were maybe still see-through. So uh, I think I did a pretty good coverage. I'm letting it dry. I don't think it's gonna take very long, but if it does, then I will continue this video tomorrow. But in the meantime, I'm going to do an unboxing of some items that I got from QVC uh, that I ordered uh, this past Sunday. Oh, I, I don't even know. Maybe it was Sunday before that. I don't even remember when I got the box. But I've had it sitting here for a while. Or maybe it was a Thursday that I ordered it. And I think I got it on Monday or so. Okay. Even on the rainy days, they delivered. Okay. Look at this. Oh, right. I know what it is. <laughs> I had my husband get it for me. But I'm going to show you. And this is a product from Temptations. If you're not familiar with Temptations, you will be now. I have unboxed before some things, and I think I've unboxed some Copper Chef for you. Uh, but this is going to be Temptations. Here's the uh, label and uh, the lady. Her name is Tara. She is Tara Tesher, the creator and designer of Temptations. There you go not sponsored I just think it's a beautiful product and I'm showing you okay so what it is is a 16 piece dinnerware set and I believe that's what it is if I remember correctly so I've got the little bowls and these things these temptations come in several designs they have a lace uh, what they call a lace uh, and then they have their their old world I believe it's called well I order from the old world collection and uh, I order the confetti so this is going to be the confetti uh, item and this is in a basket weave here's the bowl and look at the little basket weave on it <laughs> that is so pretty it's a setting for four basically so it is the bowl and um, I have three more bowls here let me take this off carefully put them over to the side and here is the mug and the mug I think alone is what sold me on it you know I don't even remember how much it was look at this do you remember how much this was? No? Okay. We don't. It was a good deal, I thought. That's the mug. I'll look at my invoice and it'll remind me. I'm doing it in payment, so you know, whatever. I'll put these other mugs out of the way. I had them boxes because they have this little cabinet over here. It's actually not that little. It looks little in the video, but it's actually kind of big. It used to be an armoire. My husband and I turned it into a little cabinet, little shelf uh, thing. Oh my goodness, how do I get into the rest of it? Okay, I'm probably gonna cut this out so I can go ahead and do some tearing into this box. Okay, so we're back and I've been looking over my invoice on my label here. And uh, this is a Temptations Old World Basket 16 piece dinnerware set 
in the confetti. So that is what it's called. The item number is H215914. So if you're interested in looking at the QVC uh, webpage, it's just QVC.com. Uh, this cost me $81 uh, for the set. And it's, that's quite a bit, I know that. Uh, but I really wanted this and I have some other temptation items in this confetti uh, pattern. Uh, once in a while, you know, you want to treat yourself to something nice. And it was part of my mother's day for my husband. Uh, he, yeah, he's been really spoiling me lately. Anyway, but I showed you the bowl and I showed you the mug. So I wanted to show you the dinner plate. Here's the uh, dinner plate. And I've already gone ahead and I um, took everything out of the plastic and the cardboard. Here we go. And it has a salad plate. It is so cute. It's got that whole basket weave on that. It's, it's, uh, the dinner plate only has it on the edges. But I think that makes a really pretty set. Put together like that. Look at the beautiful blue on the inside. That is what I love. Look at that. Because I have some things in my kitchen that are, some of them are pastel-y, so I kind of like that uh, vintage look. But I also like the Mexican colors that are very vibrant. So I've got a kind of an eclectic look in my kitchen. So this fits in just perfectly with this beautiful cobalt blue. And look at the little mug. So that's what it is. It is a setting for four. So it's a 16 piece and that's what I've gotten. I'm just really proud. And I was starting to talk about um, this cabinet here on the side here uh, that my husband and I created out of a, it was, we used to have our TV in there. So we just took off the, we took off the doors and we actually made it smaller, pushed it back. So that the bottom part could actually be like a little shelf here. And then we added these shelves in there. And uh, I want to take everything out of there that I have right now. I do have some Temptations items in there, a little tea set. Let me turn this around just a little bit. So you can kind of see that little tea set right there. That is also in this confetti pattern. Uh, but I also have some items here. That was a gift from my friend Diana in San Antonio up there. I don't know if you can see that. The hen bowl. And it's got the little basket. And then way up on the top is like a big purple bowl that was also a gift from my friend Diana in San Antonio I've got some more items that I've been purchasing sorry about that blur there I've got some other purchase other items that I've been purchasing in this particular confetti that I've got in my kitchen and I kind of want to coordinate so I'm going to move this into that so I hadn't wanted to unbox it yet but you know I thought well why not we'll do it right now and show it off even though you know it's not one of those things that you want to really want to show off but just in case you're interested going to QVC if you do uh, that's what that is. Anyway, uh, because when I'm doing my cooking, some of my recipes, I use a lot of my uh, temptations when, you know, mixing things or using, making a, a um, casserole. Okay, I'm going to clean this up and put all this away and I'll be back and hopefully that little uh, glassware that I have painted outside is dry and I'll give it a little more time. If not, like I said, I'll continue this tomorrow, so we'll be back. All right, everyone, it didn't take very long for this to dry, actually, and the whole time that I was doing the unboxing, this actually dried, and uh, we can touch it, and yes, it is dry. Um, it's still glued on pretty good. I can feel some of it wanting to come apart because uh, the styrofoam is not the best uh, for gluing anything. So where did I feel it mostly? I think it was this glass, actually. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about it, but you're going to glue it. Like I said again, use some E6000 or some of that glue all, super glue all item or glue actually. And there we go. I think it looks really pretty. I'll paint it up. Let me get it closer so you can see that. And there we go. Even the styrofoam got some spray on it. Okay, that's all right. The one thing about styrofoam is that if you do put too much spray paint on it, it could just start eating into it. So try not to spray too much on it because it it'll kind of slowly dissolve all right enough of that we're going to put some styrofoam in there because i do want to put some flowers in here and also in here and i think i'm just going to cut these in half and see if i can fit fit it in that way and um if it's not enough i've got that other little log so i'm going to try and see this will fit in so i'm going to go ahead and cut it just a little bit off i'm going to shave off a little bit at a time so i think this will fit in there Okay, and I've got my paper here to catch all this all this stuff. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that this is really glued on really well because it obviously isn't. I'm gonna pull it off and then glue it some more. And I think I know why it's not because when I was putting the glue on here, some time went by before, before I actually put it in there and it actually dried a bit with all that talking that I was doing. So I'm just gonna put some fresh glue. Uh, some of it is dripping. Let's catch that before. Oops, too late. 
I'll clean it off. Okay, it's at the bottom of the glass. I'm not going to worry about it too much because it's going to get covered up with some little, some of these little stems. Okay, let's turn this over. Slide it in. I'm going to clean off some of that glue. Okay, there we go. The reason that I want to make sure it's glued on and it's not moving around is because when you uh, glue it with your E6000 and you give it at least eight hours to dry and then of course you've painted it and you're probably finishing it up late at night or maybe you decide to do it on a on the second day um you're obviously not going to have that little room that i had to push push your styrofoam in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this in half one more time and then i'm going to put some glue at the bottom and then i can slide it in carefully there we go. And I'm, if, if I'm going to scrape it along anything, I'm going to scrape it along the edge here and not try to scrape it on here. Okay, now I can push down on it. And this one I want this paper down here to catch up, catch all that nastiness. Okay, so now I'm going to put another piece and I'm probably going to cut another one in half as well. Okay. Get it in there. Don't worry if it breaks because the little stems will still reach those because remember we cut them at their longest point. Let me cut this one. Put some glue in there. And just get it in there. If you have to break them into smaller pieces and put glue, a little bit of glue at a time, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can show you what I'm talking about. Cut a smaller piece rather than cutting it from the longer point, cut it at a shorter point like that. Or slice into it, if you will. Let me push this out of the way. Oops, and I broke it. <laughs> it's okay because like I said, if it goes in, in as little pieces, that's okay. Use your little knife to push it down. And then I'm just gonna put some more glue on the flat part of it. And remember, we have the stem from the glass as well. So you can glue it onto the stem. What we really want is we want all the styrofoam bits in this little part to be nice and tight. And I just have to clean as I go. I wish I wasn't so, so much so that I had to be doing that, but I can't help it. Okay. Let's get some more glue in here. Got this styrofoam little sandiness in my hand. Put some glue on here. Oops, push it in. That's gotta catch somewhere. There we go. Let me put a couple more little pieces in there. I want to make sure that it's all nice and tight against each other. And that I've got enough where I can stick the stems into. Okay. I think I have enough in there. Let's see about the top part. Okay. I'm going to use this little piece that I had left over to put in there, in the, right in the middle. So plenty of glue at the bottom because I think the bottom of the glass is like curved a little bit, so this is obviously not going to rest, you know, on, the, on it. So I want to put lots of glue to make sure it is catching at some point. There it is. And I'm going to use a, um, a third piece, but I'm going to trim the corners some trimming and then just keep trimming it a little bit at a time so you've got it to where uh, it'll go in but as you can see it sticks out a little bit so I'm going to cut now some of it off and that fits in there so now I'm going to put some glue all over this part get my glue sticks ready I decided to use my smaller glue gun because I was gluing these bits and I didn't want to get glue everywhere with my 
with my larger glue gun, glue goes everywhere. So I thought I'd use a smaller one with a little precision tip. Okay, everyone, and I also did some scratching over here on the side, but I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, uh, what I could do now is I could actually take it outside and just touch it up with some more spray paint where I scratched it, but I really want to finish this. It's getting late, and I don't want to continue this tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. I'm going to take some of this sizzle or sizzle. I'm not sure which is the correct pronunciation for that. I just cut little pieces. I don't want too much because I don't really need to cover a lot of the styrofoam because I am going to put flowers in there. I'm just going to put a little bit. And I don't want to make it too thick because what it will do, it will also um, not let me stick the stems in there. And then this top one, if I had some floral pins, which I would recommend, get some floral pins, stick them in there. I've used floral pins before. I also call them U pins, or they're called, yeah, they're, they're called floral pins. Some people may call them, uh, I think they've called them uh, S pins. But anyway, um, uh, the packaging, when we ordered them, they were called U pins. Okay, because they're shaped like a U. But I'm just going to put them on here and I'm just going to let the stems uh, grab into everything because, you know, sometimes if we're going to go buy things from the Dollar Tree and we want to make our arrangement out of items from there, we don't have time to go now go to a floral store looking for U pins. This is the way we got to do it. If you have some bobby pins, they will work, by the way, or even uh, uh, paper clips. You just open them up so that now they're in a U, stick them in there. Okay, so now I've got my little stems from the uh, little bushes that I've cut off, and I'm going to compare. This one's got some nice little long uh, little bits, and I kind of would like that coming out the bottom here. So I think I may use those, or maybe up at the top here. I think I'm going to use them right here in the middle because I can't decide if I want them in the top or at the bottom. And then I'm going to use the one with my little yellow bits and the red berries up at the top and then I'll use the other different ones at the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the bottom and decorate that first. This is a little bit that was up here so I'm just put it to the side here. This little bit that keeps falling off. Okay I'm going to do the bottom so I'm going to get these here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push up the, all the little, the little leaf stems as high as I can, push them up and I've got my uh, wire cutters here and I'm just going to cut these nice and short. Now you here you have the option of whether you want to glue these in or not. I'm going to go ahead and glue these in because that's just how I'm used to doing it. And that's what I'm going to do now. But you don't have to do, you don't have to glue them in. And I'm just going to push those in. And I'm going to grab another piece that's similar to that one. And there seems to be three. So I'm going to do like a little triangle here. All right. Trim off, and this is about a third. Let's do the other one here. And this is why I grabbed six bushes because I didn't think um, I'm looking at my and it's telling me my battery's about to run out, so I'm going to go ahead and cut right here, and I'm going to just use my phone to record the rest of the video. I'm going to add this to this last piece. Okay, so I'm back with a different camera, so you'll probably see a little bit of a difference in the video, but uh, at least I have something to record with and I uh, can finish this. So I'm just continuing to uh, uh, fill in this bottom part with this first two bushes, and I am just trimming my little stems a little shorter so that I can stick these in. I don't have an exact even amount of these items to do it the way I want to, so I'm just gonna fill in here and there. Just pushing all the greenery up onto this, as high as I can on the stem so I can trim 
because I don't need them to be that long. Let's push some more of this down. This one can go on this side. One more bit here. This is probably missing maybe one of these purple bits. I should have paid attention. I usually like to look at my little bushes before I take them and make sure that they have they have all the little stems and they're not missing anything. Okay, so I'm just pushing them in as I, much as I can, bending the, the stem. Okay, now I'm gonna do this top part. And I can see that I can see some of the styrofoam. So I'm probably gonna fill in with some of this, you know, from underneath and probably some right up here on the top to make sure I cover up that styrofoam. But I'm gonna go ahead and continue um, adding. And I said I was gonna use this one here on the next uh, tier, right here in the middle. So let me get those pieces forward so you can see those. so pretty this one I don't need to trim it's kind of short so just push it into the styrofoam I'm trying to get it to cover up the little area where I kind of scratched it up a little bit So that's what that is looking like so far. And I do have some of these little bits left over, so I'm gonna put them aside for now, just, just while I go ahead and work my way up to the top, because anything left over, I'm gonna use it to fill in where I can see styrofoam. And I feel like I need some at the bottom. Okay, now at the top, I definitely wanna put in this little red berry right in the middle. And on the top, I have more to cover. And now I don't know what happened to the piece of sizzle that I had kind of, uh, I don't know, sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> I'm gonna grab another piece. It probably fell on the floor. Yes, it did, I can see it now. Just grab some more. Let's put it over to the side. And spread it open. There we go, like that. And I'm gonna use, put some glue on that. Push it right here in the middle, the top, right there. And get two pieces, slide them here on the side here. Another one with those same berries right here. And then I'm gonna go on the other side here. Just kind of make sure that they're kind of evenly it around the top and I'm gonna take the ones with the yellow and put them in between where I put the little the red ones just to fill in and I'm gonna cut them kind of short push them in right in the middle here Gorgeous. <laughs> I think it looks gorgeous. Let's get that stuff to get in there. Now anywhere where um, that uh, little bits of that 
we're gonna just call it moss for now, um, where it lifts up and you can see the styrofoam. I'm gonna put little dots of glue and then push down that, that moss down onto it so that it doesn't lift up anymore and it does cover any styrofoam that's showing. go let's see I think on this side I'm gonna put a little bit just so that it doesn't flop around and over here I can see the styrofoam so let's put some glue and push down that mossy stuff the grassy bit and cover that up okay and then we can Maneuver our little flowers and any little bits of uh, little strings of this moss, this sizzle, sizzle, whatever it's called. Oh, I just scratched my glass. Okay, um, be careful <laughs> with your scissors. And I kind of like that actually. Gives it kind of a worn look. Okay, now because um, I still have some stems left over. And I had mentioned that we could take some of some more of that, uh, um, what I call it, moss, and uh, stick it into our arrangement. So I'm gonna take a little bit and just kind of tuck it in underneath. I'm just gonna spread it out. So I can go underneath it and just tuck it in, just push it in. The uh, little stems will actually kind of grab it and hold it in. So you're just poking it in Go under everything and poke it in. Any loose bits, you can come around and trim. Okay, I don't want that going on the floor, so I'm gonna push them that way. All right, so then I have all these little bits still left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the bottom with these. I like these, uh, they look like, um, what did I say? Lavender. They look like lavender. I don't know if that's what they are, but that's what it looks like. I'm going to fill in. Let's fill in over here because it has a nice big gap. Right in there. And just keep turning it and trimming off this little mossy hair, little grassy bits and pulling off any of that glue strings. Tucking that in a little bit more. Okay, so at this point I'm just pulling any of these uh, little um, grassy bits and just trimming off more of this uh, little grassy moss. Okay. I still got three pieces left over and I still have uh, some spots on this bottom part that I feel like could be filled in some more. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Right in here. And I feel like right in here. And then I have another spot over here. I'll go ahead and use these little berries to fill that in. And I think that looks really pretty. And there we go. I have completed this little tiered floral arrangement. Lift it up this way so you can see it. There we go. I'll turn it around. Of course, I'll bring the camera around so that you can see that. I think that looks really pretty. I think that if um, you use a glass uh, paint, a spray paint that is especially for glass, or just make sure you let this dry really well. I would put all these little bits of styrofoam in there first before uh, spray painting it, just to make sure that you're not scratching it anymore while you're doing that. And just be really careful when you're adding these things. Like I said, you could leave the glass clear and just stuff some moss in there to cover up all the, any styrofoam that you put in there. But that would be, an, you know, extra work. So I think it's a lot quicker if you just spray paint it. And actually some of these little scratches on it kind of give it sort of a rustic vintage look that I'm kind of digging. So that's just up to you, okay? All right, so that's my completed 
tiered floral arrangement. I'm gonna give myself a big old thumbs up. I hope that you will give me a thumbs up as well. I hope you enjoyed it and that you uh, got some inspiration or learned something out of this. Uh, I think I like this as a front of it. Okay, there we go. So make sure uh, you leave a nice comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you have any suggestions or anything that you'd like to see me create for you, let me know. Uh, I could use some ideas. Uh, I do have some, but they're for, further up in the future. So let me know of anything that you'd like to see me do. Uh, uh, currently, I do have a lamp that I want to decorate and put a new lampshade on and decorate the lampshade. So that might be something that I'll be doing. I want to bling it out for my knees. So I might be doing that pretty soon. Um, otherwise, I'll, maybe I'll follow one of your suggestions. And um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thank you to all of you who have. And um, make sure you share on your social medias. Don't forget to push that little notification button so you get notified when I upload my videos. I upload every Tuesday and Friday. Tuesdays are crafts, Fridays are food. And uh, that's it. And as always, enjoy.